someone asked the question about how uh, was I able to get the map and the truth is I like to draw anything I use for my designs and drawing these things will require a bit of reference so I got out the boat app and I tried to reference a bit of their design and just fusing in um, my own extra sauce to just make it personalized so everything was drawn even the car um, if you can see there are different elements here it was drawn as well uh, by me from scratch and as well as the map you can see the map is broken into different sections um, and it's very easy to do very very easy so the first things I thought about was I need to create a lane in the map that showcases the roads so I decided to use uh, to create this part and I'm going to show you how to do that you don't have to draw it line by line so um, let's get right into it the first things I'll get out my map um, uh, frame here and then all I need to do is bring out my um, pen tool so I'll just click P or you can go up here and select the pen tool and then we can start drawing um, whatever we want to get out as a map so just basically uh, thinking about how the different sections um, in your community would look like um, you could think of your street for example you can just draw based on your street you could say oh this um, this road leads to uh, Amadiyama and you can just basically just think about how your street is being divided and that would enable you create something that you would be shocked at how you came about that so you could just eyeball it i'm sure many of you play football and you know your environment very well so you can basically just use that information to create something so this could be the palace of uh the chief let's go back one step so I'm, I'm drawing without closing out this um, this particular uh, um, lines that I've drawn and the reason is because they are going to have the same color and the same stroke so there's no need closing it out you can just draw and when you're done you can uh, you can now uh, kind of color them and then for the other sections for now I'll just close it out I'll click done and you're going to see what I was talking about. So I'll choose a fill color and then I'll just with the eyedropper to just pick this color. And then for what the other one, I'm going to pick that's for the stroke. I'll pick this one and just take it slightly to the dark shade of that particular color. And that's uh, for this one. And then you can do more. All right. So I know by now many of you already have the hang of it. So you can draw more let's say this leads to uh i know where it leads to <laughs> so put this and just say this probably it's it's an estate and then you can keep drawing more and more and more and more until you're satisfied that's just the goal until you know oh this is where i want to stop then that's fine the next thing you want to do is these lines that show like the road partitioning all right to do that is very easy all you need to do is basically get out your line again i can do it from let me do it from here to somewhere around here i'll place it here as well come here do the same thing all right i'll close it here first you see what will happen and then I can still continue. I'll click here and I just continue what I was doing. It's basically just seamless. And then let's keep it here. And then probably just connect it because a road, it's like a road network. So you know the road network in your community, the way it is. Do it that way. Just think about how these things actually work real time. And that's how you can just get yourself a customized map that fits into your own environment and then we'll click done we now have that line but 
it's not looking like a road yet so how do we fix this select it come down to you see stroke come down to the uh, advanced stroke settings click on it stroke style change it from solid to dash and there you have it now you can increase the dash number you can increase it to whatever number you feel like is good enough and then you can also increase or reduce the gap so this is where you do that you can either enclose it make it closer or you can make it further and that's how you can do this um, for this other one it's very simple very very simple so let's just grab the car I'll just grab this car bring it into our frame send it to the top and let's this this way let's assume the car is going in that direction and uh, this one come into our map and go downwards right so with this one this way all we need to do is actually just do the same thing so we're going to draw uh, let's say it's going in that direction and then just place it here and that's that and now it's just time to give it a color so let's assume the location is there so I'll just grab the location which are basically circles all right nothing serious just circles and uh, yeah colors send it to the top let's assume that is where this car is going to so we would let me position this better right and then we would give it a color so i'm just going to pick i'm just going to pick a different color this time let's go with let's go with orange and then i'll increase the stroke width now remember it's in dash so we don't need dash we'll go back and change that to solid and that's what we're uh, kind of rooting for let me position this well and then send it downwards all right and we'll select it select it i just want to give it like um, a gradient so click on the gradient select the color on that stroke select gradient for this one i'm going to leave it at the yellow maybe lighter this time and then for this one i'm going to give it the blue where it's heading into all right and that's basically it I'll just move this a bit this way and then increase that slightly and that's that now to add that line you see at the middle you don't need to stress yourself you don't need to start measuring things and trying to <laughs> fix it so all I did was duplicate this particular one that has a gradient change it to let's just change it to white for now first and then it's covering the other one because it's the same size now select the white and just change it to one and that's it now all you need to do is just go back to stroke style and change it to this and then you can enlarge it or reduce it and then i i think i did 0 0.5 and that's it with that you can complete the rest of the map based on your environment all right and then yeah that's basically it. I hope this gives you an insight on how to draw maps in Figma going forward. I'll see you very soon.